How you doing, Justin? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? We're doing We're very good, well. Good. Not as good as you guys, man. What's it like down there being a Carolina hurricane? Well, we're we're just we're we're enjoying playing hockey. We're enjoying having fun, and um, right now we're I'm actually on the back of the bus of the father's trip. So um, we're all having fun right now as well. How's it like going on the road with your dad? Is there any worries? Who's got the one dad that's a bit of a concern? <laughs> well, tonight's the first night, so I think we'll probably find out who that is. Um, <laughs> but I think a lot of us will certainly have to have our earplugs in, as the dads usually come back around midnight and just have a few cocktails and start snoring and waking us all up. So I think we got to be prepared that way. So you got a room with your dad? Well, I want to get the whole experience. You have the you have the opportunity to get your own room if you want. But you know what? My dad's on the trip here. I'm going to get the whole experience with my dad, and I'm going to room with him. Yeah, he's, my, he's right next to me. For, for one night at least. If he comes home greased and wakes you up, you're going to have to get your own room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you have to have a pep talk with him, though? Like, <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> no, no. He's, he, I mean, he's a veteran now. I mean, this is like, this is like dad trip number eight or nine. I mean, he knows, he knows how it goes. He, okay. should know, he, should know, he should know better. Yeah, I'm sure he does. That means he'll be leading the charge. He, he knows <laughs> exactly. all the ins and outs um, with Justin Williams of the Carolina Hurricanes. So, you know, we got to get to the celebration stuff because it's the talk of the NHL. How did this all start? Like, who created this idea for you guys after wins? Well, I mean, hey, if we're going to get into it, we're going to get into it, right? But um, I guess at the start of the season, um, but I think the the main thing that I think people have to understand is, is our market's a little bit different than everyone else's market. We don't have a whole lower bowl filled with, corporate seating and, and um, you know, all the other things that go on along with that. You know, we're a team that hasn't had a lot of success in the last nine years. Just think of how full your arena would be if you haven't made the playoffs in nine years. And we're trying to create a little stir. And at the start of the season, we, you know, have done the stick wave, the salute where you throw your stick in the air. And quite honestly, it, it felt a little forced and certainly monotonous. And, and it didn't really mean much. So, you know, that we wanted to do a little bit something different. And <laughs> quite honest, uh, we did something to start, and then we wanted to do something different. It's just kind of grown from there. We we didn't really have plans to make it uh, this different and, and, and have people react the way they have. Um, but it's been good. Um, we've enjoyed it. We've had fun with it. And I think the most important thing is we're – we don't take our t- ourselves that serious, right? There's a time to be serious, and there's a time to um, let your hair down every now and then. And um, we're trying to embrace that uh, with the fans that we have, and, and trying to create a, a little bit of stir within the community here. Has every player been on board the whole time, or any teeth pulling within the room? Um, no, everyone's been yeah, everyone's been all in all the way. And um, as I said, it just kind of started with something small. We jumped into the glass, and all of a sudden, people are like, all right, well, what else are you gonna do? And um, I think one of the great things is is is, is you look around after games, and and whether you're winning or losing, usually people are filtering towards the exit with about five six minutes left in the game when they know it's over, and. When we're winning a game and I look around the the arena and no one's moved and there's a minute left and we're winning a game, you know, whether by one goal or two goals or what have you, no one's left the arena. It's it's a pretty good feeling because they're waiting for us to do something. And um, as I said, we're we're just we're having fun with it. And um, people will obviously say what they want and and, um, write what they want and um, believe whatever they want clearly and they have that option to do that but as i said we're we're out here um we're celebrating just with us and our fans we respect the game we respect our opponents and we don't hot dog any goals um it's certainly something that i would never stand for on our team um but having fun when everyone's left the left the ice and and we win a game and i certainly don't see anything wrong with that and and as i said it's all about fun with Justin Williams of the Carolina Hurricanes. How do you know, like, what's coming up next? Is there, like, a guy that has a – like, how do you practice this? <laughs> <laughs> if 
if it looks choreographed, it's 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 not. Uh, we <laughs> we we have a vault, and all the ideas go in that vault. And at some point, uh, we pick one out. But the vault's getting pretty thin right now. We don't have much in the repertoire, so we're gonna have to come up with something. So. Um, guys just are always filtering in with new ideas. Hey, this is what we should do. Hey, this is what we should do. Um, we had actually had a really fun one for the Star Wars night. We didn't end up winning. Um, also a fun one when we played on Super Bowl. We didn't end up winning that. But listen, um, you know, once the game is over and, and, and you um, have worked your tail off and, and you know, play hard, um, there's a time – a little bit of time to, to have a little bit of fun, and that's what it all is. So if some guy walks up to you on the street and calls you a jerk, is that endearing now, or how do you react to that? <laughs> it certainly seems like it. Um, I've certainly gotten a few emails and a few text messages that calling me that word. So um, <laughs> it's uh, I'm certainly taking on a little life of its own here, and, and there's – Obviously, you guys have seen the T-shirts and everything, and, and we're just in, we're we're embracing it. You know, people are talking about us, which is great, um, but I want them to talk about us because of our team, not just for our celebrations. We're playing hard, and and we're trying to get something that we haven't done in a long time here in Carolina, um, which is become a relevant hockey team come playoff time. And um, I know it's a great area once you have that. Um, and certainly O can attest to that, that uh, there's good times here and, and they just they have been few and far between. And I, I want to get it back to that. Well, you guys are a point out uh, as it currently stands on a long runway still to, uh, to fly through. We'll see where it takes you. We're, we're watching closely. We look forward to seeing you guys play this out. Good luck with everything. And we always appreciate you finding some time for us. My pleasure.